Hello people, welcome to the tutorial on creating a one bar loop in Logic Vault X. Before we get started I'd like to say thank you for those who have subscribed to my YouTube channel Blind Havoc 87 and liked my Facebook page Blind Havoc. Now if you don't know, I am partially sighted and this is not how I use applications and internet and that so I'm going to zoom in to make it easier for me. Now the two audio loops I'm going to be using is Led Zeppelin, When the Levy Breaks and James Brown, Fungi Drummer. So here's the first one I'll be working with. Okay, and the James Brown. Okay, so gonna open up logic, which is stream out. There we go, and we're gonna create two audio tracks. Okay, we've got two audio tracks here. Now we can import the audio through file import, import audio file, but I'm gonna do it this way. Just drag and drop. There we go. So we've got the first region here. We're going to set the cycle range. I'll just show you how it will go for that first. Okay, so we only want a little piece of this. So we'll open the audio file editor window. You can do this by web window audio file editor. I could double click and then it'll be here. Now this is just looking at the track showing the wavelength, but we're gonna to wanna to go into file and click. And then we're gonna to have to select our highlighted part, what we wanna save. So holding shift. And then we put it on a cycle and then audition. While it's while that's playing, I'm gonna be magnifying, which I get my tools up by T on the keyboard shortcut and I press Y and I zoom in. Zoom in a bit more. Now we want to get as close as we can. We don't want this because this will be the next kick. It will start off on a kick and it will end on this snare. So it just jumps, jumps ahead a little there. So I'm going to play this while I'm making changes.
now I've got that selected part that I want, I'm going to save that. So go to audio file of the audio file edit window. And then we're going to run up this save selection as the highlighted selection. And there, there'll be a dialog box. And then we're going to name this. Let's save. And then we can delete this. We don't need that. Then we come up here to the browser and we want to go on project and then we can find our piece here. We put that back in there. It's a much smaller piece of the audio. So now we select one bar and we're going to want to calculate the tempo of this track. So we set the cycle range for the locators on one bar. We go to edit, tempo, adjust tempo using region length and locators. And we we're going to do that globally. And then here we go, we've got it. Next up we're going to work with the James Brown Funky Drummer. Another thing if you're using audio files, remember to edit, select unused, delete. You do that all the time, it saves the, the CPU, the memory on your computer. So now we're going to drag the Funky Drummer in. That off. We're going to put it on solo, well, so we only listen to the James Brown. Okay. I want to bump the go. One, two, three, four, get it. I'm going to just set this so I don't. Get lost, it just makes it easier for me. Okay, so I'm going to set a cycle range again, like what we did with the previous track. Three. 
Okay, now that I'm happy with that piece, I'm going to also save that selection. And that will go in the same place as the audio file before. So, we don't need this. Take that solo off. We've got funky drummer down there. Okay, now I'm going to want these to go in time together. So let's see what it sounds like now. <laughs> this second piece we can time stretch it to go in time with this so we can drag that to the first part and it should be in time <laughs> Solo, the levy break one. What we're going to do is make another copy of this by bouncing it down, and we can change the tempo. Control and B. Gonna have one D settings PCM. Okay. Delete that one, which was the original levy break, and we can go into this project folder. Put in the place, and then coming over in the inspector window, we now have follow tempo. Click that. The original tempo of this was 70 BPM. So I'm going to play it. We're going to speed it up. We'll go to 100 BPM. Let's try so yeah that's a tutorial so far on creating a one bar loop calculating the tempo and learning how to change the tempo of audio files and um, if the video does well I might consider doing more videos like this I don't know about the quality because I'm using QuickTime screen recording so let me know how I've done if I can help with anything else just ask any questions uh, thanks <laughs>